Greetings Taurus, welcome to your May reading with me. Hey you guys are lucky last. Sometimes it's good being the last one, the last cab off the ranks because during the process of the evolution of the format of the readings they can change and turn into something quite new and dynamic. Anyhow we march into May with a degree of altered perspective and dynamic across the planet. I don't know where you're particularly watching this from around the world but a lot of people have had their lives altered quite suddenly and spun onto a new trajectory. So I myself here in New Zealand find that we are in full lockdown mode at the moment and have been for virtually four weeks. We're allowed out for small amounts of exercise in our local neighbourhood only. In many ways it feels like a very tyrannistic uh, journey we're on here with a degree of loss of freedom something that I don't do well indeed and I have been pondering upon that but when you think about the global perspective for the health safety and well-being of humans then we're doing it for the collective anyhow we walk into May and we see that we come up with three retrograde planets which is going to add to the conundrum energies of May I feel We'll see what that means, but often when uh, planets go retrograde, they go over things and go back and revisit things. I'm hoping that that's not a message from the virus as such. It could be other perspectives or dynamics or ways of treating things or moving forward. Anyhow, let's see individually what's in store for you guys. The, we will be using these three decks. These two are full tarot. This is an oracle. We will be having three columns going back to the basics, health, finances and career and relationships and then this card will deal with something to focus on or unknown. So let's put this one aside for now, or these two actually. They're already wanting to come out. I think they're going to be busy these guys. Okay, so this is for Taurus for 2020. May, not the whole of 2020. Okay, let's see what's in store for Taurus for May. Quite big these cards, they take a little bit more shuffling. Taurus for May. Okay, so the first one off is health, the nine of cups, that's nice. The next one is finances and career, the four of pentacles. The third one is relationships. Oops, that one. The two of cups, so quite a lot of cups have come out for you guys. Of course, that's around the emotional perspective of life. And I think a lot of people are feeling into life through the emotional realm at the moment for one cause or another. Just spread those out a little bit, check that we can still see them on the screen. So these cards are going to further expand on the messages that have come through from those cards there. Pick these up from the floor. These ones jumped out and they will go for the health, dominion, the king of swords, the two of wands and the ace, ace of coins. Then for the finances and career. And remember if you're not in a working part of your life then uh, this could be your hobbies and passions or how you invest your money or your finances anyhow. So four of swords that is crossing that four of autumn, so two fours and of course we're in a year that adds up to a four as such. The three of cups, what is left for this last column the relationships that one shot out and again we've got a kind of a cross there the six of coins the six of cups and the devil 
Okay, let us see what is going to come out from the Animal Oracle for you guys. I can feel a little bit of, with these two cards that have come out on the side, you, some readers take that as being, you know, something that crosses the situation or causes a blockage of some sort. You can also take it as being a perspective of not fully having manifested yet. It's still coming in because it's coming in on the horizontal. So it's neither upright or or the other way but you've got a couple of reversals in that first row as well this is for Taurus and of course hey guys we're coming into your birthday month so I hope that May does treat you well a lot of you might really go within or you know seek to feel what is this whole event delivering for you where is it taking you on your next step and because this is coming around your birthday time when to be fair there's a lot of intensity on the planet regards this event the virus situation you guys might actually really be pondering what is this all about you know where do I head from here especially as it is your birthday time because those energies around our birthday do create that sort of thought perspective and especially for some of you who are moving into a new decade with a birthday uh, this could be something that's on your mind a lot and could actually help propel you in a certain direction around the choices you make as you move forward well we didn't get our jumper out of the deck so we will pick one for you electric Eel spirit, bring your ideas to life, and I'll pick you another one as well. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. It's beautiful, and I think there's a lot of dogs around the planet at the moment who are doing particularly well with having their owners at home and spending more time with them, perhaps even walking them and exercising them more. So if we come to this first column down here, this is the health column, and we have the nine of cups, or the nine of summer. Uh, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. So if this has come out in your health sector and it was the first card that came, it seems to bode as though things could be doing quite well health-wise. And as I say, it's coming up to your birthday. Some of you may be focusing on readjusting things or a wish is coming true in terms of your health or you've uplifted a new dynamic or perspective, perspective or modality around staying healthy or becoming healthy or being healthy and this could include many different aspects remember health is related to physical emotional mental and spiritual we had the king of swords up down upside down and then the two of wands as well so the king of swords could very well be a person like an ear sign person around you who may be creating a little bit of angst at this time so it could be a close family member or partner you know like a close love partner it could even be someone from work so if you are involved in an ear sign person it could be an ear sign rising as well they could be a little bit out of sorts themselves and be causing a little bit of disruptive energy the ear sign person or people can use the mind or words especially if they are agitated or feeling aggrieved or uh things aren't going so well for them they can become quite vitriolic in terms of how they speak and what they say so if this person is around you it could be affecting your health or your emotions or you might be concerned for a person who's an ear sign person who is going through a lot of their own health issues and because of the state of everything at the moment they could be mental health issues so something to ponder about for you guys there we then see the two of wands and this is normally creative and often associated with work so again I'm wondering if it somehow is tied up to career or job uh, realm here in terms of the health prospect but remember the first card out was the nine of cups which is the wishes come true so maybe you're wishing for something to be resolved with this person or situation which in turn could be a relief for you, which could be a health bonus or benefit or move you into a new health modality. So somehow these could all be interweaved together and produce for you an outcome that you are actually looking for, but somehow it could involve this type of person 
uh, their attitude or behavior. Perhaps they are required to change or they do change or maybe this person is someone you've been hoping um, some sort of input or help could come their way in terms of a health matter and that it's coming. Now the two of wands again is a big card of balance and since it's upside down it's still pointing to me that things could be a little bit out of balance and perhaps with these other people in your life perhaps they need rebalancing. We come to this which has fallen into your health sector and it's the ace of coins which is more often to do with career or financial prospectus as well. However, the aces are always fortuitous. These two cards are very fortuitous. A lot of people would love to have seen them turn up in a reading. So I'm still feeling as though there is positivity in this health sector of yours. Now given that this is an ace and it's pentacles, pentacles are the slowest moving um, agenda, if you like, of the four different disciplines in the tarot. Nines are coming toward the ending of a cycle. So for me this feels as though this is something that could have been on your mind for a long time or a health project you have been working through or walking towards and I still feel there's a little bit of time to go but you've been at this for a long time. So for some of you it could have been a recovery from an illness. You may have been, it could have even been that some of you work in the health sector because this could also cover that for health sector workers. And you can see the light at the end of the tunnel that it's coming, that there is a progression step or there's a progression in your understanding or awareness of a health modality. Some of you may even be picking up, yeah, you know, so picking up health as a option to either treat yourself or treat others. So healing possibilities. And this could be happening for some of you because this is what one of the messages I'm getting. So many Taurians might be moving into health as a way of moving forward for themselves, for better health and for others as becoming a practitioner. So that was an interesting bunch of messages that arrived. If we come over here to finances and career, we see the justice card, the three of cups, the four of swords sort of possibly crossing or doing something, interacting with this other four, the four of pentacles. Now this one says manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, help out those who are less fortunate. Because the Four of Pentacles is often a card about feeling anxious about our money or how we're spending it or how it comes in or how many bills are there or are we earning as much as we used to. So the Four of Swords is not dissimilar in terms of it creates a little bit of mental anxiety or tension. Uh, he's often taking a break of some sort and finding some relief. Now relief can often be found in positive thinking or meditation or being mindful or having practices that ground you and balance you and enable the release of anxiety around potential things such as our finances or career. I understand that as we move forward many many people around the globe are going to face a time of uncertainty and Taurians you like knowing you have a financial stability. Money and possessions can be quite not necessarily important to you but you gain a sense of pleasure and enjoyment from having them around and things that you treasure and like. They don't have to be worth a lot of money but those material aspects of life are part of your dynamic of life as well and some of you may be feeling anxious or tense about that at the moment. So there's a degree in here of being calm, of taking stock, of being logical and sensible and also when the card says help out those less fortunate than yourself, by giving, by being involved in the act of giving you can actually release some of your own tension and when we give in turn we begin to receive again. So if some of you have felt fearful or frightened or worried or stuck or feeling as though not enough is coming in or you're perhaps not earning enough then move out of that worry state and move into a more positive mindset and perhaps give something. 
Now giving doesn't have to mean financial, it can be giving of your time. So uplifting something in terms of a voluntary service. And there's a lot of that required in various ways right now around the world. And in fact, even giving something could be as simple as going out at night, like they have been doing across the UK and in Italy, and at 7 p.m. clapping for the health workers. That's giving, that's giving love and support and encouragement and just let, letting them know the grateful thanks for the work they've done. So that's what that could mean. This Four of Swords can also sometimes mean an interjection of sorts, so something that comes in that changes the direction of a, a situation or an event that's taking place. And because this came in on the side, it may be that something is coming that changes a current situation around your finances. Now sometimes this card here can also mean being loaned some money, being gifted some money from uh, family members or from someone who would like something in repayment. Like even if it meant you visited them or you gifted them a piece of your furniture or something along those lines. So there could be something coming whereby you have to sign something or agree to something around a prospect of your career. So it could be a change in your career with new job terms or descriptions that could be coming in as well for you. The Three of Cups is often called the community card, so it affects more than just one person. Often three people are involved and sometimes three ladies. This is called the Sisterhood card as well. So there could be this governing feeling of you working with some people or people having respect or care for you as well and working in a cooperative or forming a group that is positive and balanced. It's a great card of support and nourishment. It can be a card where three people team up to produce some sort of ideas or concepts or patterns, even a working roster that might take place that you end up working with these people who could become lifelong friends or great supporters of you or the work you do together or something a new project you're assigned to it could also be the concept of a new way forward with either your career or your money or how you've been investing it that is based on an emotional bond of some sort or a friendship when the justice card comes out it's one of the major arcanas and you didn't have that many in your reading i think you've only got two that one and the devil. The justice card is very much about things being brought back into balance and we talked about that over here that, the, that there seemingly was something that needed to be rebalanced again. Well this is the card of bringing balance into situations that have been around perhaps for a long time also possibly with an air sign person and we talked about this with this king of swords and if it's not an air sign a sun person, it might be their moon or rising as well. This balance is karmic and it's been going on for some time. It can cross timelines and also lifetimes. It can also represent the need to be turning up to somewhere like a court of law or going through some legal procedure. This card can often turn up if there's a divorce proceedings or a family court being heard or children going through you know like custody battles uh, businesses that might be requiring intervention legal intervention it's often signing of documents in a court area or procedure but it usually bodes quite well when it's in terms for yourself so if this is in your finances and career sector it might be indicating that someone you either work with or for or a business that you've been associated with or a company might be making changes or something deep could be happening in the restructuring or the goings on behind the scenes. It could have been hidden agenda stuff, pretty much like this card over here. It might be that managers or CEOs or the top executives might be changed about. There could be big changes coming there, but it's like it will benefit somehow in the long run something that you're doing or involved in. 
If this is to do with your personal finances, it could be that some of you have been waiting on legal hearings to do with money that could have been owed to you, whether it was owed by family members, or whether it was through something like a gifting, or whether it was part of a will and you hadn't been considered appropriately, or you, it had been hidden knowledge that might be coming to light as well. It's a card of destiny and it brings clearance. So something quite deep in the background that's been uh, forming like an attachment or, or has been holding something back is freed up. And in terms of this as finances and or career, that's the area that we're looking at that it could be working in. Come to relationships, we had the devil, the six of cups, the six of coins crossed. It's funny that we had two fours over there and two sixes here and then another two so you've had quite a lot of fours sixes and twos the two of cups is a beautiful card in terms of relationships it says falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone forgiveness and the resolution of a problem don't give up your relationship can be healed so a lot of different perspectives or openings that this card can give itself away to so for some of you, this is new love opportunities coming in. Uh, if you're already in a relationship but it hasn't been going so well, it says don't give up. This can be healed, this relationship. For others of you, it's the, the deepening of a committed relationship that already exists. It's the deep bond of soulmates that have been together through many lifetimes. And you may feel this. It may be awakened in your soul. You may become aware of it. It doesn't have to just be your love interest it can be people within a family or a community or even just a deep friendship even actually someone on the street you pass you never know what how the um, meeting is being arranged or what depth it can take with it now if we come to these other ones the oh, I've moved them there and I forget what way they were all laying but I think it was the six of coins that was moving across it like this so again, I'm thinking finances could somehow be part of a situation that may play out in your relationships. And again, this is the card of giving and receiving. Very much like we talked about a little bit over here when we said something might be resolved in terms of a legal binding situation and it finally gets aired or it finally gets to court or it gets accepted or it gets rewritten well we've got the same feeling over here that somewhere and it's still forming or coming you might get given back something that was taken off you or you might give something out that you've been holding on to because this is the card of giving and receiving so once we do that we create the flow in life and that's not just giving and receiving money it's giving and receiving emotions time understanding, knowledge, awareness, gratitude, love, everything. So because this card kind of crossed it, I still feel there's something being involved about opening something up and feeling more give and take being involved. Now we come to this card down here with the devil card in the relationship sector. And often this card is about lack of balance and not being give and take equally this can either be ourselves our shadow self and dealing with things like obsessions or um, addictions uh, can be a time and especially with the pressure that we're all under now this could be a time when little things like this pop up again and start to annoy us like we're going why do we let ourselves fall into this when we're under pressure? So it can be a little bit of a hidden agenda going on. You're either hiding it yourself from others or you, you're wanting to hide from it. You, you don't want this to pop up again. But if it's not you and your shadow self, then this can be another person who is causing interference or negativity within a relationship. Now, they can be obsessive or they can be abusive and it can be emotional abuse or physical or spiritual abuse and that's why when we saw this over here I feel as if 
the, the cycle of give and take was still a little bit out of balance, but it's coming back in. And the final message down here is it says, don't give up, your relationship can be healed. So this person who's involved here, and sometimes this is a Capricorn energy, but this energy that's involved here that could be causing out of balance or out of kilter addictions or obsessions from their own perspective, we come back to this whole thing over here again. It could be this person still. And there's a possibility that there will be some healing take place or a shift. It feels as though the shift is there somewhere, but it hasn't cemented itself yet. I think it's still got work to do and time to do. But don't give up if you're wanting some sort of healing to take place. You know, work with it. Try and use communication or try and use mediation or even litigation. There will be a lifting of this energy at some point. We go to the Six of Cups, which is often, it's again, it's about love and emotions. And it can often be referring to going back in time, back to the past. Now, I said at the beginning we were going into retrograde energy with all these planets coming up. So this might be referring to revisiting a situation to try and heal it or clear it or unblock it or understand it. So that could be going on in terms of relationship energies that you want to shift or evolve or understand. It can also represent going back in time to places that you used to visit when you were young. Now sometimes this can be a mental journey and it, you go back to see how something was being experienced from the perspective of a child or a family when you were younger. It can be that old lovers come back on the scene at this time as well, so there's a possible reconnection there, and that's what that card may well be representing. Falling in love or making a commitment, and this could be with someone who you've already been with in the past, so that's a possibility. Then we also talk about children in this card, and it's the innocence of love and remembering to be in that place and to feel the warmth of harmony and peacefulness and the joyfulness that children can have. And when we embellish those energies, we start to find this glorious energy coming back into our lives, that happiness, harmony, support, love and cherishing. So I feel as though there's like a cycle going on throughout the whole reading at this point that involves relationships around you, some of which may be tied up with your work and career, but others that might be um, personal that seem to be like infiltrating through a whole different bevy of realm within your life, including your career or, or your finances and how you deal with them and how your health deals with it and also your um, relationships. So with that, let's take a look at these two that came in and I will bring that camera down so that we're looking really closely at the cards because they're so beautiful. And then I will read from the book because the book is particularly valid in what they say and also they have two perspectives with each card so one is a normal message and the other one is a protection message so we will read with number 24 first as that was the first one that came out electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life oracle message seemingly out of nowhere the jolt of electric eel spirit appears to awaken you to to a big idea that you are meant to explore Epiphanies and aha moments are gifted to you right now, so celebrate. Your life has the potential for profound transformation. Inspiration arises in you, electrifying you so that you can't wait to get started bringing your idea to life. The revelations you experience now are meant to set you on a new path, so do not be afraid to act, explore, examine and do not fear the changes that them, that may come for spirit wants to shower you with the love success and abundance that you hope to experience now is a thrilling time of epiphanies inspired ideas and innovation this is a wondrous sign for you today and then the protection messages ideas need to percolate as they really download in detailed form 
Have you too quickly dismissed an epiphany because you couldn't see where it might lead you? Have you rushed to follow the music without taking time to contemplate the meaning of your aha moment? Perhaps your dream will take a different form than you first imagined, morphing into something else that is even better. Spirit's plans are often hard to discern, but so much more satisfying once they have taken over from your own predetermination. Maybe your big idea is taking more time to shape than you expected. Have you considered that you are meant to learn something in the process of bringing it into being? Commit to transformation and to learning any lessons this new venture will bring. And soon you will see that your aha was even more valuable than you realised when you first felt it electrify you. So some of you have got these potentials for this ideas and concepts and newness. And we kind of saw that when some of these cards were positioned like on this angle as if they hadn't fully on this angle as if they hadn't fully come in yet. Not necessarily that card. But I feel like there was this evolution taking place and that you need to electrify any of these ideas you've got or concepts or directions that you want to take because there is this transformational feeling within the reading for you. Let's go to 19, Dog Spirit. Be loyal to what you love. Dog Spirit appears to remind you that although change is part of life and all of us are meant to evolve, our love and commitments remain strong. You are loved now and can trust that this higher love is true. Spirit loves you and love has arrived in many forms now, manifesting in the people you surround yourself with, expressed uniquely through them. Dog Spirit also says to be true to that which you love. For now is a time of good fortune. Be steady as you recognise that people and things are always transforming. Your heart is loving and true, and Dog Spirit wants you to know that your steadfast commitment to experiencing and expressing love will attract and manifest more love. You deserve all of it. Have faith in Spirit's plan for you. And then the protection messages, and I keep looking at that dog and I just think he's so beautiful to look at. Uh, border Collies are always such a lovely, endearing dog anyhow. And another thing I want to say is, you, a lot of you will no doubt come across or have your own dog as a pet. And somehow the, the dog energy and something that you maybe gain from or experience through your pet might be part of a message for you in moving forward. And at least what I think you will be experiencing, whether it's your pet or perhaps one you come across, somewhere on your journeys you're going to have this epiphany if you like which is what you had from the other card about the the bond of love and to be loyal to what you truly love doing and to not be afraid to set that journey going so here's the protection message loyalty to people and situations can turn into attachment that results in stagnation stagnation enmeshment and loss of integrity. Do you fear what will happen if you let a relationship evolve? Are you afraid that asking for a situation to change will make others see you as disloyal? Trust that when dog spirit appears, you are meant to accept the turning of the wheel of life and the changing of fortunes. If you feel you are being betrayed or are growing apart from someone, let Dog Spirit reconnect you with your commitment to love in all its forms. Perhaps a relationship is meant to evolve. Perhaps you are meant to evolve too, so that you can experience the growth for which your soul yearns. Your greatest loyalty is to love, so be open to all its many guises, including self-love. You deserve the best and that is what Spirit wants for you. I'm quite um, intrigued as to how that's tied in with quite a lot of the messages that came through in the end about your evolution and the evolution of some of the relationships that are going on around you at the moment and that very important message of self-love and that is the most important and that's where we start and from that foundation we go forth with a great deal of strength and courage to take on the situations that might be around us that are challenging. 
So thank you for joining me guys. Please sub the channel and like the video. I love it when you leave your comments and so does the rest of the community. And be safe in May, but be well and happy as well. And look at where we are headed as the future unravels and moves forward. Thank you again, everyone. Namaste.